Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to another review from Roy's Reviews. And today, it's not just a um, just review, no. As you can see, I've been joined by the lovely Michelle B. Vapes from the world of Instagram. Hi. So, she's been on YouTube before, but hey, never worry about it. Um, but yeah, today is we're doing juices. We've got three house juices, and I'll explain that soon, um, to review, plus. We've got four of our own creations to talk about as well. There is a hint in the word, a hint in the word. So, a little background on it. We were, Michelle was approached by um, a company called Ripper Labs um, on the Instagram world. Uh, if she would like to embark on a, a journey with them, a collaboration with them, to help maybe try and promote them. Mm -hmm. But as normal, Michelle was, was one of these ones that A, thinks about me, and B, doesn't want to promote something that she doesn't believe in. Yeah. So we joined um, Nick and Jack, um, who are two of the lads from Dripper Labs, um, on a hour and a half long call. Yeah, it was pretty long. It was good. Um, who went through all the steps of what the company does and everything else. To put it in a nutshell, if you've ever thought about making your own juices, but didn't want to go to the A, the expense of buying all the concentrates to start with. C, didn't, or B, C, where did I get C from? B, didn't know what ratios or strengths to put them into. And C, failed like I did. Yeah, and me. <laughs> I think most of us that have DIY'd have tried it and things. I have always been, I take my mixing from the world of um, cocktail, being a cocktail barman many many moons ago and more is normally in that more is more flavoursome but with juices it can be quite a tricky balance so dripper labs come up with this idea um and it's a it's a, a computer program that sits in the background when they put a juice in it actually balances the juice the juice out so you start off at very background note at this side up to strong but where that strong changes to medium, changes to background, can vary for each flavour. Um, and they've got it They've got it worked out so that it, when it goes in, because Jack is a master mixer. Mr. Flavour, he likes flavor. to be known as. Mr. Mm -hmm. Flavour, a master mixer. Yeah. Give him a new name too. Yeah. <laughs> and so, he, they between them all, they've got this worked out and we will let you know how it it pans out in the second part of this um, but first up we're going to we'll show you around one of their bottles as you will see this bottle is blue um, and it's got the dripper labs on there and as you come round it tells you what the flavour is this should be blueberry cordial it's got a little QR code which you can scan to get take you straight to the website and the page and everything else when it's gone it's got all your batch information all the necessary warnings and um, paraphernalia on there everything else so that's a blue label here's a red label and that says create create on it oh hide the name create <laughs> hide the name just for now <laughs> hide the name yeah and whereas this one has got released on it so that's what happens it goes it actually goes through three stages so you've got the blue stage which is the final product and released you've got the red stage which is the very first time or whenever you make a creation it comes out in that and it's a yellow stage I think the middle one yeah what was the yellow one again was the yellow one is whenever you are happy with your juice but it's gone for the ones who registered on the website basically can can order it and for them to test it to see what your creations are there something tickles their fancy yeah. and then if you like it that much then you can push it onto the last stage and finally release it to yeah. everyone so there is a certain number of likes you have to get and everything else for it to go and feedback as well and feedback yeah. so you can give get live feedback um 
on the on the website and everything else is whenever whenever it's fully released mm -hmm. and fully working we have seen what the the backbone structure of it is and coming from a a web background um it looks pretty nifty and, sw and swish so we're here to try out the bottles now there's no full pricing information available at the moment but from what we've been advised of what the prices are going to be they're going to be just below what you would expect to pay for a premium name juice out there so they're slightly cheaper than the premium we will now find out exactly what they what they just are like we have been trying these out um for the past few days mm -hmm. so we are quite aware of what's what's to come but i'm going to be putting them on um my normal just review device which is the unicorn vert with the unicorn pandemic on top is what i'll be trying them on i'm going to be trying mine on my aegis legend with the barrage rda and my aegis legend has a custom skin on there and you can find them on instagram custom aegis skins hit them up honestly you can get whatever creation you want put onto your legend <laughs> It's really good. Actually, all geek vape devices as well. Yeah. Other ones too. It needs to branch out. They cater to all really, and the prices are fab as well on them. To be honest. You want to smell? Oh, what's that on blueberry? Blueberry cordial. Oh, the smells of blueberry are coming through. Thank you. I let her drip her own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to doing a um, a review. So it's slightly different. I, I'm not going to do my normal, here's the music, I'm going to go for a vape type thing and then come back and tell you what I think. Um, because Michelle's not used to doing that. So we'll do it the way she does her Instagram reviews. I might make this slightly longer, but hey ho. Look, so Blueberry Cordial, here we go. Oh, I need to put my dripper back on me. <laughs> Don't be kissing them coils, man. She can't get she can't get her barrage lid on. She can't get it on. That's not normally she has the problem, she doesn't normally get it off. <laughs> Cheeky Mary. Right. We are in the summer house folks, so it might get a wee bit foggy in here because there's two of us. Even though it's the throes of winter. I know. In the summer house. Forever summer in here. Okay. First thoughts from me. Is this a premium juice? Yes. Would you agree? The quality is there, definitely. The quality is there. Yes, this is one of their house juices. Yes, they probably had the, got, had time to get this perfected before they got it down. Mm. But the thing about the house juice is they actually show you exactly what's in there. Um, and the levels of it and everything else. It is quite a sweet juice. But it doesn't kill your cotton. Even though it's got the sweetness in there, it's not overloaded with sweetener. I can taste a little bit of tartness in there, slightly. Well, that would come from the blueberry. Yeah. Blueberry's a wee bit tart It's not on. to my flavour, but this is Roy's flavour, so this is the one that he personally chose. This is the one. We've got each to choose one each, and then one between us. So the blueberry cordial was mine, because I wanted something nice and refreshing, which this is. It's not like a, a blueberry... Um, lemonade because it's not fizzy and it doesn't have lemon in it but it is like a blueberry cordial the one that you would dilute um, it does taste like it actually does taste like a diluting like blueberry juice. or a blueberry juice with other things thrown into it yeah even slightly thicker <coughs> but it is really flavoursome and your mouth is just left salvating from what was a blueberry <laughs> it is do you know what that is a nice that would be a nice all day vape because it's not heavy to vape like it's not I, I think Personally, anyway. first thing in the morning, I didn't didn't quite enjoy it hmm. until I had my morning coffee over me. As soon as I had my first sips of coffee, then after that it was fine. But just before it, I don't know, it was just, I think it's this having something sweet for breakfast. Yeah. Um, but before I had my coffee, once I had my cup of coffee, then that was fine. So, are we going to score this out of 10 now or are we going to do it at the end? Maybe do it now? Let's do them now. Right. Let's do each juice as they come. So, nice smooth throat hit. Nicked up to three milligram. Nice smooth, um, no chemical taste. No. 
and the flavours as described. It does taste, yeah. So everything in that juice points me to um, it's going to be probably an eight and a half, nine. I'm going to score it an eight just because it's not my flavour, but the quality is there, the taste is there, and it tastes like it says on the bottle. So yeah, yeah, I would it definitely give that doesn't, a eight for me. It just doesn't blow me away. Is why it's not getting a ten. Yeah. So, so settle. It's probably going to be an eight, eight point seven five between two of us. But do you know the beauty of this site? See, if you buy house flavors and you like them, or you feel like you could maybe add something to them, you can do that. Yeah. Like seriously, you can do that. You can take the house juice, take the the graphics for what's on it, and then either add something, maybe add a bit more blueberry, add a bit of strawberry in the background, take away some of the sweetness. You can actually mess about it and then make your own unique flavour, mm -hmm. which then you can get in a red bottle. <laughs> in the creative version. <laughs> and you get to you get to buy it, but you're also not there. You're not. Um, you don't have to say, right? I'm going to buy a hundred bottles of these to get it made. You're getting it in a thirty ml bottle. There was a ten ml, ten ml bottle, wasn't? It? Thirty, sixty. And then a hundred, I think. 30, 60, and I think it was maybe 100. So 30 is the smallest, but you really need a 30 to... to Try it out fully, yeah. yeah. So the next one on my go is Bonoffi Pie. Oh, that was my flavour. So this is Michelle's flavour. Yeah. So this time I'll let Michelle talk about it first. Okay. Um, so we'll pause there, and we're going to re-wick, and we will back with you in two seconds. Right, so we're back again, and this time it is... The Banoffee Pie. So, as I say, we'll both be vaping it, but we shall let Michelle speak first this time, since this was the one of her choice. Yeah, it's my choice. That's why I like that. I only get one. Strength. Mm. Don't really only get one wattage. Just to you know as well, I've had also had these juices through um, the Vupu pod, just in the wee two mil version with the PMP coils in there, um, just so I know what it's like in a tank. And then say so this is now doing it on my dripper. So, Miss B vapes. Hmm. That's a really nice banana. I get hit with the toffee first though. It's quite a nice toffee. It is. The toffee in it is lovely. Mm. It is. It's really sweet. It leaves you some sweet lips. <laughs> it does. And then you've got the banana and then there's like a wee creamy element to it as well which is a And a wee bit of a biscuit -y base. Yeah. The, a wee biscuit right at the end. Right at the end. It, mm. To me, I like that one. To me it is just like getting a banoffee pie made sort of prop well. It's nearly properly. Like but you've got the digestive base, then you've got a layer of banana, then you get your layer of toffee, but they seem to have put the cream on top of the banana with the toffee on top. Yeah, because I taste the toffee and then it's like... Yeah, Again, I think it's going to be depending on what, how high a wattage you're vaping on this, mm -hmm. whether you're going to get the toffee first or the banana first. Because to me, anything with toffee and banana, if you go high, you get toffee first, mm -hmm. if you go low, you get banana. Oh yeah. Mm. So depending on what wattage you're you're going on that, but totally agreed. It's the it's not a candy banana. No, it's quite a nice fresh banana. It's a fr to me, it's a yeah. fresh a fresh banana that's in there. Yeah, because it's not overly sweet or that candy taste. The caramel is like your tins of um, coronation yeah. condensed caramel. The really sweet it is. The not really the one, one, well, I suppose it could be the condensed milk. Yeah. You boil and get to it, but you can actually buy the tins of caramel. It's mm -hmm. that type of sweet sweet caramel. Now, yeah. if you were to vape that caramel at full strength by itself, you'd probably get very sick of it very quickly. Yeah. Um, the banana's nice and ripe. The biscuit note isn't overpowering. I hate it when you get... Um, a biscuity base that's really a buttery biscuit to it. You get hit with a biscuit. Boom, yeah. smack with yeah. it and then it overpowers all the other flavours. Yeah. That's sitting lovely just this, in the back note. Yeah. It's there but like you can't miss it but because it's there. It yeah. 
again, really good premium quality juice. Mm. I think it would go nice with a cup of coffee. It does go nice with a cup of coffee. It go <laughs> especially your nighttime coffee. Again, it's one of those ones where I tried it first thing in the morning. I probably see. I can't have desserts first thing in the morning. No, it just so. didn't. It just wasn't. It was a bit too sweet. I took one pull of it, and I was like, no, I just can't. I can't do this. But it's one that's getting now that this review's finished. I'm going to have to stay somewhere. <laughs> I was say that's my flavour. <laughs> So if you're running away with it now. I'm going to have to stay something for juice. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so that to me is an easy 9 out of 10. Yeah, I was going to say 9. That's... Stop copying me. <laughs> as much as we as me. much as we have got different um, I could, flavour palettes. All right, so when with me typically, I can only really vape bakeries like throughout the day. Like, you know, maybe a couple of puffs here or there. But I could probably vape that for the majority of the day, I think. Yeah, it is lovely. Because it's not sickly. No. And there's no yeah. chemical aftertaste. It's smooth, plenty of vapour. Oh, forgot to say, these juices are all 70-30. Um, mm. You can also change your concentration. So if you wanted that banoffee pie, um, the same flavour's coming out in it, but as a 50-50 juice, you can do that. That's the whole thing with this site. It will then readjust the balance so that you're getting the same flavour, whether it's a 50 50, 60 40, or 70 30. You, know, you can change what you want and also your nick strength. Because this is it's all that's all taken into consideration. So if you're saying you're going to be vaping this at a 3ml nick strength, then the, the bottle capacity is set up to be able to take the nick shot mm -hmm. and the concentrate levels are set to take the nick shot as well. Yeah, so that you. So that the flavour doesn't get diluted, basically. Yeah. Okay, so here we are going to go and re-wick, and we will be back with, if I get it the right way around, rebarb and custard. See you in a moment. We're back again, and this time with the Dripper Labs um, house rebarb and custard. So this was one that we actually both <laughs> had picked out from the house flavour. There's seven house flavours at the minute. Mm -hmm. If my memory serves me right. So we've got three of the house flavours here um, to test out. And I don't know, I'm actually super excited because we've done two each and we'll go on to those once we've done this and we'll, we'll, we'll explain <laughs> it then. Yeah. Right, rhubarb and custard on the vert. Well, the pandemic on the vert. On the legend with the barrage. This is probably one I would tinker with. Mm. I actually am surprised by this flavour. The rhubarb, which hits you first, hits me first anyway. The rhubarb hits me first. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful rhubarb. Mm. Um, it's got a sweet and a tart to it. It does. I so because I taste the sweeties, like you have the rhubarb and but then I also taste like like a crumble or something like the like when you have rhubarb crumble like yeah. the fresh rhubarb from that <laughs> so it is you're getting the sweet and the tart rhubarb coming through now my only slight disappointment is the custard it's a custard it's a okay custard it's not a horrible custard it's not a yucky custard or anything like that but it is a nice custard but i am a custard snob but as anybody who's watched any videos on my channel will know i am a total custard snob when it comes to it that's Captain's Custard all the way for me. <laughs> but not taken away from the juice, it is good. The base isn't just as, it's a very, very bad note for me. I probably would have liked it up just a little bit. So it's probably one I would tinker with and bring the base note up a little bit on there yeah. from that. But it is, again, smooth. Mm -hmm. Good throat hit. Mm -hmm. Smooth throat hit. Full of flavour. Full of flavour. No chemical no mm -hmm. chemical overtones. And again, it's not a sickly vape. And it's not scratchy on my throat. Like, see, I've had other rhubarb and custard vapes before and they've actually, like, been scratchy on my throat. Um, That's, 
to me, I that's one that's using a cheap concentrate. I must be a concentrate snob. Oh, she's a snob. <laughs> concentrate snob. Honestly, I think quite a lot of just is scratchy. It's not nice. But, but that one is. I can be. A, I can be at that all day. See, I like the custard in that because it's not too custardy. Yeah. Like I'm not a huge fan of custard at all. It's the vanilla in it throws me off. But that is nice. That's a nice yeah, custard the, for me. I would probably raise the vanilla slightly and the base slightly in that. So that's one that I can do. With the site, I can take that base, mm -hmm. put it into the into the, the charts, and then notch up the the base biscuity bit pastry. I think it's actually cheesecake they use in it. If my memory serves me right. I'm not sure. I think that's what they use as the as part of the cream, but the custard and raise the vanilla slightly. So that would be my personal preference, and I can do that, and then I can put it out as Bonoffi V2. It's not Bonoffi. Or not Bonoffi. <laughs> Rhubarb and custard V2. The. <laughs> but. Yeah. So that leads us on. Oh, sorry. I'd give it a. Oh, I'm sort of thinking seven and a half, eight. And that's only because of the custard. See, I'm swaying more towards eight and a half or nine. Just because I like that flavour and I could see myself vaping that. So quite the goal for in between the two will take it to an eight. Right, yeah. yeah. An eight overall. Eight yeah. overall. Um, but. This is the beauty now, going onto the, onto the other side, onto the red labels. Uh, so I could take that base, put it into the system, add my extra bits in it, get it sent out to me in a, a red bottle, so it's going to be the Rhubarb and Custard V2, or Roy's Rhubarb and Custard, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, you can call them whatever you want. I'll get it out, and then I maybe go, oh, I've, maybe I've made it worse. Or maybe I need to, there's going to be too much vanilla now, or there's too much of this. You can then go back onto the site, it keeps your revision history, so you've got the original rhubarb and custard, you've got your first revision, then you make a third revision to it, but you have all those three revisions there, because then you get your third one out, and you think, oh no, I've totally killed it, and you want to go back to what you had previously, it's still there for you to use. Yeah. And it's all in your own little portal and everything else to do. A fantastic idea. <laughs> now, I don't know what order we've got these sitting in, we're not going to do a full review on them, but what we will say is roughly what we were hoping to get from the juice, from the flavour that we've, the, the concentrates we've put on, and how we got close. Would we change anything? Yeah. So we're not telling you exactly what's in these, because at the minute these are this our... This is our top secret flavours now. So, <laughs> first one up is Lost Away. That was yours. That's, this is mine. Mm. Um, so what I was trying to replicate with this juice, and I'm going to drip and talk at the same time, this time, um, was one a bit like um, a previous company's just called um, Castaway Coconut. So I was trying to replicate that. Did I get anywhere close to it? I don't, well, don't think I'm kicking the arse off it. Do you want some? Mm, yes, please. So this is Lost Away. So on this, I would probably there is pineapple and coconut in there. So that's the two main the two main flavour notes is coming meant to be coming through. I would probably raise the um, pineapple just a little bit on it, as well as for me um, one of the back notes which I'm not going to mention. So it's pretty damn close. I have. What I will say is I have attempted to make this juice with concentrates that I have here and I've bought other concentrates and I've tried to mix it up and did I get any, did I get as close as this? No. Mm -hmm. But it still tasted lovely what he did mix up, it was nice. It was nice, but it but wasn't, it wasn't. Anywhere, <laughs> it wasn't anywhere like this. <laughs> so that's a really good example to start with of something that I've I've created and I will be adapting. And will I be going back to make more? Yes, I definitely will, 100%. The next one... <laughs> it's mine. Is Michelle's, and it's found a way. We kind of did like a versus here. So we did... We <laughs> because going right going through what flavours we thought were in it, I actually thought something else was in it because that's what I tasted from the original juice. And she always did say And he say was it. like, uh-uh. But I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, I think 
Personally, I think mine's is slightly closer. Uh, no. I do. Personally, I don't. I do. Personally, I think mine's because closer. Because it needed that ingredient. No, it did not need that ingredient. <laughs> I like that ingredient. So. I know, but there was a trace. I think there was a trace of it in it, to be honest. No. 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 Yeah, because it's the <laughs> smell as well. <laughs> Seriously. I never ever smelled that ingredient in it. I never tasted that ingredient in it, but I tasted it in here. I tasted it. I swear I did. Rise, arguments, rise. This flavour is so good. Like, I'm like so proud of Mr. Flavour. Yeah. Like, literally, he's like, yeah. <laughs> like, See, the guy is like magic, I swear to God. Like, just give him your flavours and. Oof. But he also tells you that what flavour may not be prominent as a. <coughs> is that Gucci's choking? <coughs> so, it doesn't actually just tell you about the flavours that are going to be noticeable. But he knows what flavours to add to it in smaller amounts that's actually going to enhance your front note flavours. So you might not actually even taste some of the back notes that's there, but they're put in just to enhance mm -hmm. the flavour of um, your main your main flavours, your main ingredients. Yeah, he really knows his flavours. Like, this is who's mixing your juice, and he literally knows the insides and out, what flavours work together, what flavours <laughs> work together to bring different flavours yeah. out, how sweet to make it as well, and exactly. he's very knowledgeable in the mixing scene. Now, definitely. this was a fluke the way that the bottles were sitting because I just had to set them up anyway. <laughs> now these next two flavours are our own creations. Yeah. Although, sorry, mine is totally my own creation yes, because mine right. comes from um, my bar days and a cocktail that I designed and sold and that cocktail was called Dickhead Surprise and it was only called that because of the price of it. You know, you're talking, what, 20 years ago it was 17 quid a drink. So that may not be the large people today, but you're probably looking at about 30, 25, 30 quid today for it. So, what one will we pick? Will we be picking up Michelle's or are we picking up mine? It's mine. And it's just <laughs> called it Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Now, yeah, I like it. What we, have, what we have had, we've had feedback from Nick um, and from Jack. Jack absolutely loves Michelle's Found Away mm -hmm. and Nick loves my surprise because he started messaging me and he said his first message did half a tank. The next message no, scrap that, tank's empty. Yeah. So he likes this. Um, it does have a small tweak to do to it which he also agrees with me to what the tweak is. Mm -hmm. um, I know what the tweak is I need to do to it which I will be doing. Not so? Yes. There's the lid up there. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, one of the most prominent flavours in this at the minute, I don't mind saying, is um, honey. Uh, people are probably going, honey? Huh? I know, I was like that. I was like, honey? What? But <laughs> if I just lower the honey down in this a little bit, it's with a honey and a melon, and there's a few other flavours in there as well, which I'm not going to mention, but I'll just mention the honey and the melon. Because the reason is that the, the melon is sort of a more of a watermelon type vape, um, which people are used to. But I like honeydew melon. So you put the honey and the melon together, and you put the honey and the melon together in, in alcohol, you get a, a lovely honeydew melon um, flavour coming through. But the surprising back notes, there's two surprising back notes in it. One of them Michelle doesn't like. Yeah, because I... Normally. And I smell it from... Get go. Yeah, normally, <laughs> but, but she can actually vape it in this. Yeah, I can. Because of the other flavors. In the back, not where it's meant to be. <laughs> That's the thing. Like when these guys say we're putting this as a back note, they do put that as a back note, and it works as a back note in that yeah. flavor. Like they're really experienced in their mixing capabilities. So I what say. you get hit with is your main flavor. Mm. What you cut coming back out of your mouth again is a mixture of the back notes and the main flavour but the back notes are just there you can pick them up after the main flavour just sort of goes in mm -hmm. um, and it's fantastic the way it does it so you'll if you think something's a back note then you've got something as a medium so that's just going to sort of linger about in there and then you've got your your, your sort of strong forefront flavours 
and the blending process works. It definitely works. Who do I see using this? Everybody. Everybody apart from the probably the big just companies that are making just <laughs> hand yeah. over fist, hand over fist. Yeah. But maybe I, your smaller vape shop. I think even experienced mixers, who people who classify themselves as experienced mixers, will want to give this a go just to see what it's about. Yeah. I honestly do think because it's a lot of fun. See how their see how their creation comes up. Yeah. It means you're not sitting there mixing, you're not having to get the scales out, you're not getting your concentrates out, then you're going through, you're making a juice, and then you realise you've run out of a concentrate, and, and you're you like... spill it everywhere. Oh. It's, you know, all that <laughs> endless mess, and takes all, all out of it. All the tidying up to do afterwards. The delivery was quick. It was. It, it was came next quick. day yeah. for us, and that is a surprise. Being in Northern Ireland, this company's based over in England, for it to come next day to us was a really big surprise. Mm -hmm. um, we were expecting it the following week because it was just it was just tracked. It wasn't sent next day delivery. Yeah. It was just sent tracked. Mm -hmm. um, the packaging that comes in, it comes in a, a bag, sealed bag with your juices in it. Then it comes in inside a Jiffy bag. The branding on it, it's you know I love. You know, one of the first things I said to them on the call was, especially this blue ball, looks like a. Um, hand sanitizer ball. You did, yeah, the blue one. And they agreed, they agreed with me. Um, but, you know, this is the future at the moment. Because this bit here, you know, the bar co the QR code is unique to you. You get to call it what you want to call it. Eventually they're going to let you have a little bit more, you know, they're going to get a bit more space in here for um, putting a picture in maybe, or some more information mm -hmm. about it and everything else. They take care of, you know, yes, it's always going to have the Dripper Labs um, logo on there, um, but they're taking care of all the legal size of it, mm -hmm. the, the clean rooms, the, you know, the bottle, you know, you don't yeah. have to buy bottles. Although, one downside on the bottles, as much yet for Michelle, especially, they're very hard to squeeze. Yeah, it took me a while to find a wee soft spot, like you get in every bottle, but even then it's a little bit of a... So that's the only downside. Kind of a um, the prices they come... So the website or the Instagram at the minute is Dripper Labs, just Dripper Labs. Just Dripper Labs, yeah. So look up Dripper Labs. They're on Instagram. They're on Twitter. They're on YouTube. Um, at Dripper Labs. Yeah, their website DripperLabs.com. Yep, web, there you go. Web, DripperLabs.com. It doesn't have their Instagram on here. It's just Dripper Labs, I think. It would think. be good though. I think it is just at Dripper Labs. Um, but yeah. One thing I liked about the labels is how they've kept them minimalist. That's in there. It's not like full of junk. It's not over, uh, like animated or animated. <laughs> over animated is that a thing? It's not like it jumps out of the screen at you or nothing. Yeah. Like you know, it's not tacky looking. It's just it's clean. It's easy to read. You know, all the information you need is there. It is. And I do apologise to anybody who's watching this that it is a long review, but <laughs> we thought better to get it all done in one as opposed to breaking it into different ones, which we normally would. Or two reviews, because he was going to do one and I was going to do one. Yeah. And we're like, let's just combine it. Let's There's a lot together. of a lot of information as well in it. Um, if I can work out how to do um, time cuts. Time stamps. Time stamps. I, will, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't know how to, I don't know how to do that at the minute, but if I can work that out, I will put time time stamps into each of the juices so that people then can just jump to the bits that want. But they need to, you know, a bit late at night, tell them at the end. We still have one flavour to try. Oh, so we have. My flavour. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about this. So um, we've got Michelle's, which is... Now I took Stranoffy. Yes. Stranoffy uh, pie. Yes, yeah, Stranoffy pie. So I took the base, um, the base flavour Banoffee pie, and changed it to a different fruit. I, I wonder what that fruit could be. Straw. Pie. I wonder where. I wonder what the. <laughs> wonder, but you changed something. There's a couple. Of, there's one. Other, there's another couple of bits in it you've changed as well. Oh yeah, I added a couple more. A little bit of bobs in it so there's well, different changes it's, um, so it's not just the banoffee pie changes no. but i pie. used i used that base fundamental the yeah. fundamental of it and added a few extra little didgeridoos <clears throat> this just brings Ooh. me to another one of their one of the pre-launch setbacks at the moment. 
which I know that they're taking. They've been given. I've given them feedback, and they are currently working on it as well. So I'll wait to you. <laughs> yes, please. Mm. That's good. I've overdripped. <laughs> Which she's been doing all evening. There is a it's tile there. Um now yes this is stranoffy and it gives away the strawberry. They only have one strawberry in the flavour concentrates. So they've got one of each of the flavours at the minute. And I can't remember exactly how many concentrates they said they had to start with. I think they've got over forty-five concentrates. Okay, but they've um, only one strawberry. This probably this definitely one that would benefit from having two or three strawberries in there. Yeah. So a sweet straw, a sweet ripe strawberry, a ripe strawberry, and a candy strawberry. I think if I had the balance of the three of those coming in there yeah. to bring that strawberry through a little bit more. Because it's a nice fresh strawberry, and it is like what you pick from a field or yeah. Yeah. But I just think it would benefit to, to, go, to counteract with the, the caramel. Again, there's yes, there's caramel in here. And there's the, the, the biscuit base. There is, yeah, I got that right at the end. Yeah, it's right at That's the very really end. Nice. But there's more than that in it. Yeah, there's Which we can't say. <laughs> so, but would you... Would, the, only, the only thing I would personally change in that would be more strawberries, which I can't do at the moment. Yeah. So I could, I would just... That as it is at the minute is very Maybe favorable. Maybe a touch of fresh cream. Like drippy cream, yeah, maybe, but Don't know. yes. <laughs> so over the options are there, guys. Honestly, it is the endless area. options. So yeah. overall, um, I'll speak for me. Michelle can speak for herself in a minute. But overall, for me, it's been a absolutely fantastic experience with the guys from um, Dripper Lab from start to finish, from the first communication to signing up on their website to the. Hour and, a half, hour and a half call we had with them the their openness their willingness to listen their willingness to answer any questions that you have and how quick they answer it um, and since then the constant communication now neither of us are being paid no. for our time or anything was on this yes we did get the juices for the purposes of review um, but we are going. We are like anybody else. We are a member of the site, and we will just be like anybody else going through there. And we could just say no. We don't want to go through with this. It's not. You're not making a commitment. You're not saying right. Yes, I'm signing up to this for a year, and I'm going to pay subscriptions for a yeah, year. There's I'm no going to do subscriptions. This. Just um, it's not like that whatsoever. As a company, um. The way that they're set up, the way that they're run, the way that they're doing things with pre-launch and everything else, at the minute I'd give them a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Oh definitely, for their customer service, their customer care, um, the way they're so inf informative about what they're doing, like they know what they're doing, it's like not like they're like you know, trying to blag their way through this, like they clearly know what they're doing and what they're talking about and they, when they're T um, telling you about something they're not putting it in like all these big fancy words or nothing they're explaining it so that you can understand yeah like you know it's they're really good like that and if you have questions they are more than happy to answer and yeah oh and they're very friendly as well just noticed <laughs> look oh yeah look there's the hand sanitizer <laughs> that's, why keep, that's why i think it's the hand because that's hand sanitizer yeah make your watch don't vape that but that yes that was made by a vape company yeah. But yes, so folks, if you have enjoyed this long review, give me a thumbs up and drop me a wee comment down below. And if you haven't enjoyed it and give me a thumbs down, still drop me a comment down below. Don't be shy. Drop a comment. Let me know why you didn't like it. Um, and if you're not already subscribed to me, please hit that wee subscribe button because every subscription counts. And the little bell so you get notified. Yeah. You might not want to get notified. <laughs> if you subscribe, you can come on every now and again and look up my reviews and watch them. Um, and fine, I just want to also say a big massive thank you to Dripper Labs um, for supplying the juices mm -hmm. and taking us through the experience and a big massive thank you to every single person who has subscribed and watched um, my videos uh, massive thank you and also if you're on Instagram get over to Instagram 
and follow Michelle B. Vapes. Yes. And just type that into the search bar and you, it will pop up and you see her lovely face standing. <laughs> Like that, <laughs> and also follow um, Dribber Labs as well while you're on the platform. Yeah, give them a follow, guys. Spread the word. Give them a try. Honestly, just what can you lose? Yeah. You know, there's nothing to lose. So, from Michelle B. Vapes and Roy from Roy's Reviews, I'd just like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this review. Take care now. Bye. One, two, three, four.